Three, two, one, go. All right, let's just make this image into just text. So no image. We're going to add a new layer. So we have one layer that is the image. We have the background here. We have the image that's the background, and then we have a new layer that we have nothing on yet. So on this new layer, we're going to add text. So we go here, let's see, where's the area? Oh, add text. And let's put art. And let's figure out a bigger text, like maybe like impact or something. I hate that you have to s select it when you're in the text editor in order for it to change the text. That is a pet peeve of mine. Okay, art. Make it really big. Stretch this out. Make it really big. Turn that off. Turn it back on. Stretch this out. Okay, so now we have our word. Oh, and I made a new layer, so I'm going to delete that old layer. So now we have the, the text, the image, in the background. So the text, if you tap on it, you can hit select. So now the outline of this word is selected. You should see all these little lines everywhere except for the letters. There are some options down here. You don't want to be in automatic. I am usually in freehand I think the other ones work fine, but I would just say go to freehand. But you don't want to be in automatic. And also, I have add here. I don't really know if you can do it on these other ones, but this is where mine is. So freehand and add. So remember, the only thing that's selected is the outline of these letters. Because we've hit select on the text layer. So if you go to the image layer, everything is still selected. All we did was change layers. If you wanted to add another layer, you could add a layer and then go to it, and everything would still be selected. So we're on the image layer. We want to make turn, we want to have art, but just this image. So you go to the image layer, three finger swipe down, and you have copy and paste options. So if we hit copy, or if we hit duplicate, if you hit duplicate, it's just gonna take whatever selected and duplicate it to a new layer. If you take cut and paste, it's gonna cut whatever you have selected and paste it in a, in a new layer. Both of those will work. So let's just hit duplicate. So now when we go here and we turn the letters off and we turn the image off and we turn the background off, all you have is the art as the text. I'll turn the background on so you can so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. So there you have it. And like let's say you wanted um I don't know. Like, let's say you wanted to be able to see what everything is. There's a lot of like other options you can do as well. So I'm going to delete what we just did. So now we have art again. And you can also do this. So like you can add a layer. And let's just say we want to paint this layer, you know, this pink color. Okay, so now we have we have our text. Tap it. Select. And then we go to the pink layer, three finger swipe, and cut. So we just cut whatever we had selected, which was the letters. So if we turn them off, then we have, you know, you can see through to the background. Or you can see through to the art. And the cool thing about this, the reason why I wanted to tell you about this part, is now you have a template. So what you can do with the template is you can take this background image and let's say you wanted to adjust it. So let's say you hit the arrow 
and you're like, ah, oh, but I kind of want this a little bit over or a little bit down. I kind of like the way this looks better, that kind of thing. So now you can adjust it and then you can do the same thing. You don't even have to, you don't even have to enable the text layer you just select it. Okay, maybe you do have to open it. So, uh, you can just select it. You can hide them both. Everything is still selected. The text is still selected. You can go to the image, three finger swipe, and then you can do duplicate. And then you can hide everything and you have it just the way that you saw with the template. So hopefully that makes more sense. Uh, I feel like I have to explain the other video like a lot. So I inevitably know that there's going to be comments underneath that it's not working. So I will try to be patient and I will try to help you through and figure out why yours isn't working. Um, so yeah, let me know if you have any issues and let me know if this was helpful. And yeah, I actually like this. The only thing, the only problem is like, I feel like I need an outline around, around the letters or something because unless it was like a full image, the gray background doesn't look, doesn't look great. Even if I change this. Oh, that's clear. Oh, so you know what I could do for fun? I'll just make a new layer, drop that in, take art, select it, go to the pink, three finger swipe, um, cut and paste, delete the template, get rid of that, get rid of that, drag this underneath. Now I have the art with a pink behind it. See what I did there? So there's a ton of things you can do. Hopefully that makes sense. Also, one more thing, uh, this drawing, the drawing that I did in the background, this is actually for my new Skillshare class that will be coming out soon. It's called Drawing is Meditation. Uh, Skillshare has a sale going on until I believe uh, July 9th, where Skillshare is 50% off for the year. So make sure to go to my website. I have the links there and the, and the, and the code. Make sure to go there and take advantage of it because you can get um, a year for half the price. Uh, and it shows your support to me. I have a ton of Procreate classes and a ton of 3D classes. So uh, yeah, you can uh, take advantage of that. All right, see you guys soon. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next 